Hello everyone, welcome to day 28th of September Lead Code Challenge and today's question is Sort Array by Parity 2 In this question, we are given an array of integers and we need to sort this array such that at every odd index, we have an odd integer at every even index, we have an even integer The result can be any such possible array and we need to return that For example, here the input array is given to us as 4, 2 5, 7. 4 is an even number at the even index 0 so we are good second is an even number at an odd index we have to swap this 5 is an odd number at an even index we need to update this again so what we are going to do we'll swap 2 with 5 so one possibility of our answer would be 4 5 2 7 how is it satisfying the condition uh, this is a 0th index, this is an even number, this is the second index, this is an even number, this is the f at the first index, this is an odd number, this is at the third index, this is an odd number. So the condition is satisfied and we are good to return this array. There are other possibilities that do exist, these are also acceptable. Without much ado, let's look at the presentation and there I'll be solving this by two approaches one using an extra space and one that is in place array by parity to lead code 922 and let's reiterate the question here i have taken a slightly different example to what was specified in the question the input array is something like this 1 3 4 6 5 7 8 10 and what would be one of the possible result uh, we should have an even number here so let's replace 4 here and we have 4 here now and this gets updated to 1 and then we have 3 3 is at odd index so we are good here let's forget this next we have is 1 at this particular index so we ideally should have an even number so let's swap this to so we get 6 comma 1 and the first four elements are sorted uh, we have 6 at the second index, 1 at the third index. Next we have is 5. So 5 happens to be at the fourth index. Uh, we need to do something. We need to swap this number. And with what value we will swap? Let's, we'll see it later on. Next we have is 7. 7 is at appropriate place. So let me just write 7 here. And 8 is also at its appropriate place which is an even index so let's skip this as well next we have 10 adds an odd index we need to perform the swap operation between these two so one possibility of answer could be we swap these up and the output array is 5 4 3 6 1 10 7 8 5 there can be many other possibilities as well uh, but this is one of the possible answers now comes the question, how are you going to solve this question? Uh, let me just uh, take a different color pen and on the very first and the naive approach that comes to everybody's mind is to keep track of even elements in the array. Also simultaneously let's keep a track of odd elements in the array. So one happens to be an odd element, so we'll add odd here. Three happens to be an odd element, we'll add three here. 4 happens to be an even element, we add 4 here, 6 here, 5 here, 7 here, 8 and 10 here. We have segregated even elements, so these are even and these are odd. Now how do we will build the answer? We will take two pointers, one here and one points to the first element of the odd data set and we will alternately place first even then odd so 4 gets placed here then we have 1 1 gets updated then this uh, this has already been placed next we have 6 so 6 get, gets placed here next we have 3 3 gets placed here next we have 8 8 gets placed here next we have 5 5 gets placed here next we have 10 10 gets placed here next we have 7 so the other possibility of answer is something like this 4, four 1 6 3, 8, 5, 10, 7 and this is another acceptable answer.
the time complexity of this approach is order of n while the space complexity is again order of n because you are bucketizing all the elements into even numbers versus odd numbers can we improvise on this the answer is yes let's try and look at that approach the question itself gives a hint that we need to identify two elements if there is a number even number that exists an odd index we need to swap it with any other odd number at an even index and this is what we'll exactly follow so let's take two pointers the first one that we'll search for is an even number at an odd index and the second one that we'll search for is an odd number at an even index so the initialization of these two variables would be uh, zero this one would be, would point to zero and this one would point to one because we'll start the first odd index is one the first even index is zero so let's just point this up so we are searching for odd number at even index we find found out an odd number at even index so we'll stop the next one is even number at an odd index this is odd so this is not good what we're going to do we'll move this pointer by two places so this points to three now what do we see we see a six that means it's a misfit since it's a misfit, we are going to perform the swap operation between 1 and 6. So we'll replace this by 6 and we'll update this by 1. Let's continue the process. For the next iteration, once we have updated uh, this index, we'll increment it by 2 for searching the next even index. Next even index will point to here now, 2. This is already an even number so we are good we are done with this let's move ahead next we have is 5 at, at, at 4 which is again a misfit so let me just change the color of pen this is another misfit in order to find the other number to be swapped we will look out for an even number at an odd index so where is our pointer pointing to right now this pointer points to 3 from the previous iteration of the for the odd indexes will this is an odd number one is an odd number so we are good we'll increment this by 2 again we witness 7 which is an odd number what we should do we should increment it by 2 we witness 10 so we found out another misfit which is 7 at index 7 we have 10 and at index 4 we have 5 these two needs to be swapped so we'll perform the swap operation so this gets updated by 10 this gets updated by 5 and let's continue the process uh, we were at for the fourth index for this particular pointer uh, for the even index pointer so we'll increment it by 2 we get an 8 and uh, at 6 we have 8 we are good so this is not a misfit we'll continue and this exceeds the length of the input array and we are done in single iteration in place we were able to update the complete array we are looking for the indexes that are misfit for even numbers and for odd numbers as per this logic i'll exactly do the same thing which i have just told and let's move on to the coding part here I have defined two variables, odd number at even index and even number at odd index and I have taken another variable n for the length of the input array. Till the time both of them are within the limits of n, I go and check recursively every time I am incrementing by 2 till the time I don't I find an odd number at an even index. If that is the case, I uh, continue this loop, however this loop will break as soon as there is a different case there is an e odd number at an even index then this condition will not be true and this while loop will break so once we are out of the loop we are pretty sure that uh, the index uh, value that will be held here will have an odd number at an even index similarly this is again a recursive loop we will keep on incrementing the pointer even number at odd index till the time uh, we have an odd number at odd index 
So once we are out of the loop, we are pretty sure it will hold an even number at an odd index by virtue of this condition. Once we know both these indexes, we will simply swap those up. And this is a simple check so as to avoid unnecessary overflow conditions. Once I'm done with this loop, I'll simply return the updated nums array. And let's try this up. Accepted. The time complexity of this approach is order of n and the space complexity is constant space. This brings me to the end of today's session. I hope you enjoyed it. If you did, please don't forget to like, share and subscribe to the channel. Thanks for viewing it. Have a great day ahead and stay tuned for more updates from Coding Decoded. I'll see you tomorrow with another fresh question. But till then, goodbye.